You know, it's tempting to come up with a grand story when someone asks what you did over the weekend. <laughs> well, the cabinet man came back from a weekend on the lake with quite a fish tail. Yep, our David Lipman joins us now with the real story, David. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of guys on on a fishing weekend to Lake Washita, one that was pushed back a week because of bad weather. They end up with a catch of a lifetime and proof that their fish really was this big. On occasion, not not huge anglers, but as much as we can get out, full lives, family, kids, we try and get out. TJ Reuter and Jake Robbins took a guy's trip to Lake Washita this weekend for TJ's birthday. They went with a guide on a cloudy Sunday morning. We'd had some early bites, so we were getting excited. Um, and then about 8 a.m., TJ got the opportunity to hook into the big one. The big one. You ready? A striped bass like nothing either of them had ever caught before. I almost for a second was like, okay, this is going to be rough. And then you just kind of bite down, grit and bear it and keep going because you know it's going to be worth it when you get them in the boat. But there's moments where you're like, maybe I should pass the pole off because it got, it got pretty intense and very tiring. Jake filmed while TJ fought. Four and a half minutes later, what their guide would later call a catch of a lifetime. You want that one? Okay. Oh. I got to be honest, I'm a little bit jealous, yeah. but I'm, I'm very happy for him, very excited. Uh, definitely a great birthday treat for that him. That was an awesome moment. I'm glad you captured it. Holy smokes! 42 pounds. Not a record, but a rarity these days. And inspiration for their next guy's trip. After you catch the big one, do you turn it in or do you go, well, there's still big ones out there and we still could catch them, so let's shoot for that. Standing near Lake Pickthorn, closer to home, their smiles remain long after the epic fight that's ended. A, that's a, great a fish story the two friends will have their whole lives to retell. But there is going to be a period of time where, where is it? Well, you don't see it, but I got it. It's coming. Uh, TJ said he sent that striper off to Oklahoma to be mounted, and I asked if he had picked out a spot in his house where he wanted to put it. Yeah. He said his wife had chosen it'll go in the garage. Oh, the garage. I'm not sure. I, I, I think it might make its way into the house. That's a big Probably fish. Probably at some point. Yeah, that's a great moment for him. I got to know what he was fishing with. I'm sorry, I got to know the bait. He told me he had shad on the end of his line. Here's what hurts. I feel good catching a shad. So, <laughs> but I'm not sure much less a striper. Oh, gosh. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the fish story changes over the next 20 years. At least we have the video, so it yeah. can't get much bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs>